Good morning. So my videos are getting too long. My goal for this video is five minutes. See if I can do it. So today I'll talk about the tea. Uh, I feel it's a duty to talk about the tea. We just have to keep talking about it. Right. So, uh, and there's a lot of information coming out. Uh, specialists, doctors, uh, reports, statistics, right? Which is very, very good, of course. I prefer the personal stories. It just gets personal. Alright, so I'll tell you a few of them. Uh, the first one is from a place. It's a senior's home in Ontario, Canada, called Champlain Manor. There's 90 people there, nine zero old people living in this place, and they were drinking tea on a Tuesday. And it was the fifth cup, you know. And two days later, there were nine ambulances there in one day. So they were drinking the tea on Tuesday. On Thursday, there were nine ambulances there. Sounds a lot. And there was a testimony from a daughter, and she said, also, people started to test positive for something. She said, uh, this place has been very good. A few small outbreaks, she said. But now they went from virtually zero cases to almost the entire home testing positive. Just a few days after drinking tea. Now what do you say about this? <laughs> Alright, here's another story. A Swedish lady. Uh, she got the second cup of tea one day, and then she said, It's very hard to move. I have pain in my legs. It's just awful. Pain all over the place. And I regret so much that I had the tea. She had the second cup. Re she regrets it so much. Uh, she says many took it, drank it, and they still get sick. And I have many friends who didn't drink any tea and they are not sick. Not once in over two years. Uh, here's another one. A uh, Swedish lady, uh, she had two cups of tea and then she got numbness in the arm and she felt weak in her legs. And then she said, I'll have a third cup. What the hell? Uh, just give it to me. So she drank the third cup and then the blood blood count started to drop drastically and then she had two bags of blood and it just kept dropping Then she had another five bags of blood put into her body. Right and then an investigation was done they found no source of the bleeding. And now she says, is this normal? Well, I don't know what to say. Uh, last one. She's also a Swedish lady. I was unlucky with my second cup of tea. So she had one cup. It was fine. Let's have another one. Then she was unlucky. She got facial paralysis and she got blindness on my left eye, she says. And she got compensation for it. It was approved by this medical center, so she got money for this. But she says her face will never be okay. Now, I was wondering about this. You know, people, when they live their lives, they make decisions, of course. And they usually spend a lot of time doing research on important decisions, right? Like when they get a dog. I know some people, when they got a dog, they spend a lot of time on this. They looked for the best breed and a good breeder. And, uh, one of them waited, I think, six months to get the dog. It was very important that the dog was perfect, you know? Or when people get a new home, 
they spend a lot of time on this. They go look, they look at all these things, all the details. Where is this home living? Where is this place? You know, what's going on? How are the neighbors? You know, or when they get a car, they spend a lot of time on these decisions, don't they? But uh, what about this one? You're getting some tea and it's going into your body and you can't get it out. It's a special kind of tea, you see. You can't take it out. Did you spend a lot of time on this decision? Now why didn't you? Oh, this is so strange. I think it's so strange. Well, that's putting it mildly. And, you know, some of these people, they call me and others like me mad for questioning this stuff. What can you say? All right. Was that five minutes? We'll see. Okay. Be good.